The best city on the planet, downtown San Diego, the Gas Lamp District, our real estate elite, Robert Wycliffe. How you doing, man? Doing well. How are you? Good. So uh, what, what's the latest and greatest? Well, you know what? A lot of great things going on downtown, as you know. But let's start real quick with the stats. We have over 284 properties currently on the market today. That's actually days on market is, uh, is, is a little, little aggressive, but the average sales price is about 762. So there's some really good numbers going on downtown. Really good numbers. Yeah, so that, that was the, the active listings, correct? Correct. All right, so what about what's sold? You know what, there's uh, the sold properties down here. Actually, from August 8th, September uh, 2014, we've got uh, 130 properties uh, that have sold. Let's see, look at here, we got the stats right here. You got the average list price is 672, average sold price 647. So it's right there. The sold and list is so they're, they're selling for what they're being listed for. Who you see buying? Are, are we first time home buyers, move up buyers, move down buyers? You know what's interesting? You've got everybody buying downtown. You've got grandma and grandpa that are moving from the metro or the East County. You've got young families coming down there, you know, walking their strollers. We've talked about so many times before. Everybody's moving downtown. Cool. Any, anything new in the social scene? Glad you asked. That's one of my favorite things. Downtown is amazing. We've got Monster Bash coming up Friday the 31st, actually on Halloween, it's a Friday, and here's some footage, but that is a, Fifth Avenue is gonna be crazy so some, actually, fun. Actually, some clips of it from last year's event, so I didn't realize that was, it was that big, so what do they do, they rope off all of Fifth? They basically take it from Broadway all the way down to the gas lamp quarter sign right before the convention center and completely rope it off. They've got 17 different DJ setups. I mean, it is, it's quite a scene just to go there and watch. Love it. Well. I know that uh, any of our, our viewers here today, if they're looking to rent, buy, or sell downtown, you're the guy they want to connect with. we got a panel here with you today as well. Yes, we do. You know what? I'm so excited. With the election season upon us, I've got a couple of very, very good friends. We've got Teresa McKenna from the San Miguel uh, Fire Board. We've got Rob McNellis, a candidate for city council. And it's just, it, I'm so excited. I can't believe it. This is going to be great. You know what? Let's, without further ado, let's get right into the fun election headquarters, pre-election headquarters. <laughs> We've got Rob McNallis, vice mayor <laughs> for the city of Santee, candidate for city council. Huh? Huh? Right. And then we have Trace McKenna, who is running for San Miguel Fire Board, along with Jim Eck and Mike Vasio. Mike Vasio actually is a good friend of mine since we're about six years old. So welcome. Wow. How Thank are you, you guys? Much. Fantastic. Yeah. Rob, so tell me real quick, let's start with you since you're right here. Okay. What's your why? Why are you running for this? Okay, first of all, I'm blessed, man. I get to live in one of the best cities in the entire country, not just San Diego County, but the entire country, and actually top 10 cities in Southern California to raise a family, just rated, so uh, we're very proud of that. And uh, that is Santee. Santee is, is an absolutely wonderful, wonderful place to, to be able to raise a family. I get to be an elected official there. Life doesn't get any better, buddy. Now, this is your second term you're running for. This is for. my second term, yeah. I'm, I'm actually running for re-election this time, and, uh, and I, I just love what we've been able to accomplish over the last four years. I look forward to being able to accomplish a whole lot more. Well, you know what? That's exciting. We'll get back a little bit more about that. Teresa, welcome. Welcome. How, how are you how today? Are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Excellent. You know what? Same question for you. I'm, I'm always intrigued by why somebody would run for such a position. I know you're uh, retired. Fire. Now you're dedicating your time for the San Miguel Fire Board. Tell us a little bit about why you're running for that. Well, I spent 22 years working as a first responder for the San Miguel Fire District, and I'm very passionate and committed to serving the community. Um, I have a, a daughter with special needs, and she suffers debilitating seizures, which I myself have had to call 911 for. Um, and I'm, I've grown concerned over the level of service and the loss of local control that has hit the district since it contracted services out with the state of California. Wow, and that's, uh, I tell you, I, I see your signs everywhere. My wife and I were with Mike and Claire uh, just this last weekend, literally counted, I don't know, 100 signs. It was amazing. You're everywhere. So 
I wish you nothing but great Thank success you. on that. I'm Thank very you. excited. Rob, City of Santee, wow, you've really done a good job out there. It's now, not just me, it's the people that were there before me as well, but it's continuing to carry that tradition on and do, doing what's right for our community. You know what, I, and I know this is not your, your only thing you've got going on. What, you, what do you got going on during the day? Uh, I am a mortgage banker by day and a servant of the people by night. Wow, that, you should have a Superman cape on that, <laughs> sir. That's great. You know what, that's wonderful. So closing comments, and, and you know, what do you want to tell the people that are watching this show about why they should vote for you? Um, if, if you like what's been going on in the city of Santee and you want to see it continue, this, I'm hopefully the guy for you. Uh, this is exactly, uh, we're going in the right direction. I want to continue going in that direction and make sure that we fulfill the, uh, the dream that was set before us by the people that were elected before me. So I, I'm just looking for more better things that keep coming to our wonderful city. Excellent. You know what? I, that's awesome. And, and Teresa, same question for you is, what would you like to tell the nice folks at home why they should run for, vote for you? Well, I'm, I'm all about making some changes to the district that I think will be most beneficial for the community. Um, I have some real concerns about having um, a contract employee managing our district. I think that should, the top management position should be an employee of Sam McGill, because right now what you have is the fox guarding the hen house, and, and I think that needs to change. I have um, some great concerns about the administrative fees that the state is currently charging the citizens in our district, and they're looking at 11.51% interest, and each year we're looking at paying 1.2 million dollars in administrative fees alone and that's over seven million dollars over the life of this current contract I would like to see that money brought back to the district excellent you know what how exciting and I, I tell you what I'm just I'm so blessed to have you both here and I know Jim Eck and Mike Vasi would would love to have been here they both got called in for for duty that's and they're right. covering other shifts so if you get a chance, get out there and vote for these great folks. Show me the sign real quick. Thank Let's you. get there. Get out there and vote for these fine folks. Uh, it's been an honor having you on my uh, uh, on my desk today. So this is great, and I'm so grateful for Craig allowing us to to get out there and really get that word out for you guys. So I really appreciate your time. Well, this is a uh, this is a San Diego-based show. So Robert, we appreciate you bringing in some people running for uh, for office here. You know? Absolutely. So I, I'm, very excited to hear more about your guys' goals, and I wish you the best of luck, and thank you for coming on The American Dream.